Good day everybody, I'm Brian Mackey, Product Manager for RMM, filming this from my home in Scotland where it's actually warm enough to stand outside in a t-shirt for a change. I will give you an update of all the feature releases that we've put out in the month of May, so let's get to it. First, I'm very pleased to highlight that we've just released an update to the Linux agent with our Linux 2.0 new release. This is a major upgrade of the Linux agent and it introduces for the first time uh, support for automated tasks in Linux so you can run your own custom scripts and automation routines for Linux. We've also upgraded support for all the latest distributions, so Red Hat, OpenSUSE, um, Fedora, CentOS, and I'm definitely forgetting one. Go to the release notes for the full list. We have also added support for the remote worker installation option so you can now deploy Linux agents more easily on endpoints. So please check out the RC agent, um, install it on a new device, run it through its paces, send us any feedback. We're very keen to get this to GA in the near future. We've also had an update to the Windows agent, that's the new GA agent 10912. This includes hardening around the installation for take control feature, the agent for take control and also for patch management. We've added a new option for when you clear checks. So you now have a choice if you want to refresh all the three panels, the client tree in the north pane, or just refresh the south pane, uh, which can help you go through check clearing a little quicker, just adds a little bit of an efficiency improvement there. Uh, speaking of efficiency improvements, we've also added an option to search the settings tree dialog. So when you go to say manage antivirus settings or patch management settings, you can now just keyword search for the client in sight and find the right client in sight a lot more quickly instead of having to scroll up and down potentially very large lists of your customers. So a nice enhancement there. We've also removed the restriction for displaying notes. Uh, now they will just always display instead of cutting off after a maximum of 999 days. That was a limitation we no longer needed to have really. So now when you add a note, it will always display a note against the server or workstation or when you clear checks. So notes forever. And we are also adding an option for you to clone monitoring templates. So now it's much easier if you want to create a copy of a monitoring template with just a few minor modifications. You can just clone the monitoring template instead of having to build it from scratch. So some real nice enhancements there that hopefully will help in your day-to-day -day use of RMM. All right, now two exciting new features that by the time you're watching this video, you'll already have or is maybe just in the process of rolling out across the territories. And these updates are all about visibility and uh, technician efficiency, but really visibility is key. So we have a new workflow for managing active issues, which is check failures, and we have a new workflow for seeing unmonitored devices. I'm going to pass over to my colleague Jerry in a moment for unmonitored devices. Let me just give you an update on active issues. With the new active issues view, we will uh, show you all the failing checks across your devices for the first time in one new consolidated workflow. So now you can, using filters, quickly drill in to a specific check issue, say you're looking after your backup checks or your managed antivirus update checks, whatever the case, whatever your assignments as a technician, you can filter that list, see all the failing checks across devices and start to clear them that way. This will help you uh, design your workflows and increase your efficiency really around managing checks. So we're very excited to release this feature. Please send us your feedback. You'll be able to submit feedback through a quick little feedback form to give us more updates uh, and feature requests for active issues. Let me pass you over to Jerry, who will take you through our unmonitored devices view. Okay, thanks, Brian. So in this release, I'm really excited to speak about unmonitored devices. So basically, the premise here is that we're going to take the data from the network devices tab and we're going to review this in the widget dashboard. We're going to be able to sort the devices by device type, also, we're going to be able to sort the devices by operating system, and then we're going to have a third widget where we're going to sort the devices by chassis type so that you can see server, workstation, and laptop. When you select these charts, these will take you through to a sorted view, and these devices will be revealed in ascending order, revealing the last 30 days worth of detected devices. What you can then do, and um, you can select that device, and then this will take you through uh, to the, the menu where you can then add this device to monitoring. The real benefit is that you can see devices on your network which may not already be monitored, but equally if you're exploring the idea of monitoring network equipment, this is a nice way to understand where your opportunities are and you can bring the devices under monitoring as well. Thanks very much. Great, thanks Jerry. 
Okay, so that's our release for the month of May. Some really in, in, <laughs> exciting updates coming out. As ever, go to the release blog for full release notes and all the details there. Um, and I look very much forward to updating you again in a few weeks' time. Stay safe, stay well, thank you.